Hey, I'm Melissa. Are any of us actually fully 100% good people? How does God define goodness? Could anyone live up to that expectation and should we want to? Today, let's answer the question, is anyone truly good? Genesis 127 tells us that God created humans in his own image. That's a great start, right? In the beginning, God did create humans to be good, completely free from sin. God had created the perfect environment for them. No pain, no sickness, no death. They were created perfect, innocent, yet with complete free will. And with this free will, they willingly chose to rebel against the one rule God set in place. That broke their relationship with God, one another, and creation. It introduced death and decay into the world, and every generation after them inherited a nature with a tendency toward sin. Even though we have the capacity for good, we're naturally inclined towards selfishness and unhealthy choices. No one has an inherently good heart. Every one of us is prone to corruption and being good just doesn't come naturally. According to Jesus, true goodness is something only God can be and give. In Luke 18, 19, he says, no one is good except God alone. We only experience goodness because of God and what he does in this world, in our lives, and through the lives of others. We have to work at being good, at loving others, at considering others' needs to be as important as our own. It's easy to live just for ourselves. It takes effort to choose Christlikeness over selfishness. That's why when the Holy Spirit causes us to become aware of our sinfulness, we have this internal struggle between doing what's right and what's wrong, what's good for us and what causes us harm. We can only do good at all because of the Holy Spirit working in us and through us. So how do we invite the Holy Spirit to help us? That's the good news. God loves us too much to leave us in this broken state. He sent Jesus to heal our spirits and pardon all our sins. Through Jesus' sacrifice, we're forgiven, transformed into new creations, and given the Holy Spirit as our internal guide. Through Jesus, we can restore our relationship with God, and best of all, we have the promise of eternal life with God in heaven, forever in a perfect place, just as God intended from the beginning. We're not gonna get it right all the time, and that's okay. Developing our faith is a lifelong journey of growth, learning from our mistakes and relying on God's amazing grace. Because one person disobeyed God, many became sinners. But because one other person obeyed God, many will be made righteous. Romans 5, 19. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We answer questions like this every day. So head over to 412teens.org to ask your own spiritual questions.